What's going on, everybody? It's Frito here for your Overwatch, here to give you some tips on improving your McCree play. He is not dead in the meta, I swear to you. He still has a place, and in fact, more recurringly in ranked play, I've been finding that in order to force teams to stop using tracers, to punish the Reaper heavy meta, especially on King of the Hill, I've been enjoying Reaper and have been getting better with him over time. However, I didn't always like him, which I think can help you guys go through the same learning process that I did. Most importantly, the Fan the Hammer days are done. So really, you should only be thinking about using Fan the Hammer if you're trying to get reliable damage on target. What's reliable damage? If you see that a character is low and they're trying to run away, or you just want to finish it out, or you're team fighting two or three versus one, and you just want to make sure you hit the thing you're shooting at, use Fan the Hammer. Just about every other situation though, you should be focusing on your left clicks and landing perfect stuns and capitalizing off those stuns. No longer is McCree a heavy lifting damage dealer, but that's okay. I think oftentimes people playing some of these roles think that if they're not getting gold damage, they're not outputting for the team, but that's not the role McCree plays anymore. He's much more similar to Widowmaker that he's the type of character you pick to specifically take out a few key targets. So I think he's a good pick, especially in King of the Hill, where oftentimes you're fighting tracers who with a quick stun and good reactions and lining up a headshot right after you stun, you can insta-kill Tracer. He's also good against Reaper, and he's decent against Farah because he has the flexibility against those other characters at close range, and he's also another hitscan character because oftentimes one Farah needs one or one and a half hitscan characters on the team to be able to take her out. You can help that soldier team fight and team shoot at the Farah as she flies through the air. So how did I go about improving my aim? Well, the biggest problem I had with McCree was I didn't like the way his reticle bobbed as I shot. I found it very jarring and some of you may feel the same way. How do we combat this? Well, one, realize, like I said before, your goal isn't to just constantly put out as much damage as you can. You're not Junkrat, you're not Farah, you need to play McCree accurately. So although you shoot faster if you hold down the trigger and allow McCree to just spam shot after shot, if you need to take the extra quarter of a second, millisecond, whatever it is, to line up your shot as the reticle resets after you fire, do it and land that headshot and get that consistent burst damage. That's how you play McCree, because as soon as you start hitting one, two, three headshots in a row, McCree starts being a valuable assassin for the team. He no longer can shred a Reinhardt shield from range, but he can stabilize the team, and that's what he's for. It's my biggest tip to you guys. Find a nice small reticle, you could use a dot, I've switched to the small crosshair or the default circle is fine as well, and constantly focus, just like you're playing Widowmaker, on getting those headshots and landing your utility. But as soon as the other team doesn't have enough characters for you to play well against, you have to switch off McCree. He should be considered a flex pick, not something you can main anymore. Against tanks, you probably can get away with spamming your left click a little bit more since there's nice big targets that reliable damage can help you focus down. But if you're in a 1v1, take your time, hit that Roadhog in the head, and you'll see some more success. I hope this video has helped you guys. Let me know if this new perspective on McCree improves your play. Please like the video if you enjoyed. I've been Frito for your Overwatch. I'll see you guys next time.